Good morning, Longhorns. Let's make this a fabulous academic day. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance and a moment of silence. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good morning, Longhorns. I'm Olivia Vaughn. And I'm Andrea Lies. Today is Tuesday, February 25th, and the weather forecast is partly cloudy with a high of 84. For lunch, they're serving hamburgers, cheesy bread, and chicken taco salad. On this day in history, in 1969, Mariner 6 was launched for the flyby of Mars. Tomorrow night, the boys basketball team has a home game against Waitman. Let's go, Longhorns. Eighth graders, grad venture payment is due by February 28th. Credit and debit card payments can be made online through the JMS website. Cash and check payments can be made in person with your science teacher. In the 1800s, slavery was big in the colonies. The South had lots of slavery, while the North didn't. Some would try to escape plantations, but eventually are caught and are punished badly. Most were scared to escape because they knew what would happen if they were caught. Only few had the courage, but one had the like the courage like no other. Her name was Harriet Tubman. Harriet Tubman was an abolitionist, which is basically someone who doesn't like slavery. Harriet was also a political activist. Also, unfortunately, she was born into slavery, which is really bad. She was one of the few slaves to escape slavery, but the escape didn't end there. You would think escaping means to run as far north as you can, but she didn't stop there. She wanted to go as far back to the slave states to help others. But then the Fugitive Hat Slave Act was placed. Bounties were placed to get Harriet Tubman after saving slaves. Harriet was also known as the conductor because she helped the slaves escape using the Underground Railroad, which is a network of secret routes and safe houses. The scheme was assisted by abolitionists and other sympathy to pick up to, to the cause of helping slaves. Even after all this, she was not caught. She died March 10th, 1913, because of pneumonia, an infection that inflames the air sacs in one or both lungs. Also, Harriet doesn't have any known birth dates. Only recently, showing that people still remember her, a movie was made about Harriet. She did a le legend, rescuing countless lives with immersive courage. Fun facts about Harriet Tubman. Harriet Tubman's code name was Moses, and she was illiterate her entire life. She used a lot of codes. She suffered from narcolepsy. She never lost a slave either during all the times she's rescued. Tubman was also a Union scout during the Civil War, and she was the first woman to lead a combat assault. Hey, do you want to hear a joke? Sure. Why do rappers need umbrellas? Why? Faux drizzle. That's all for today. Remember, we are Longhorns, helping each other reach a common destination.